effortlessly chic neutral outfit ideas with this autumn 2021 lookbook. With the right pieces and a few styling tricks, creating neutral outfits this autumn should feel really easy. So in today's lookbook, I'll be sharing a variety of different outfits that I've been wearing on repeat so far this season, and the tips I tend to bear in mind when I put those kind of outfits together. One thing I really love about neutral outfits is their ability to make even the most casual outfits feel chic and polished. But what I try and do is add at least one luxe item into an outfit idea like this, especially when I'm dressing in a more everyday fashion, just to give it that elegant punch it needs. Now when I say luxe, that doesn't have to mean expensive, and it certainly doesn't have to mean designer. But what I mean by that is choose a neutral piece to add into the mix that has a subtle wow factor all on its own. Knitwear, generally speaking, has the ability to do this for you. The yarns often look and feel sumptuous, and as you can see, worn with something really dressed down, like a pair of jeans and flats that I'm wearing here, it elevates the entire look. Another really simple outfit would be this one. Again, I'm just wearing a pair of jeans and ankle boots, but adding in that subtle touch of luxe with the yarn of that crew neck not only gives the outfit more depth, but it makes it feel and look more luxurious at the same time. Obviously, you don't have to go with cashmere at all. Just take a look at your wardrobe and pick out those pieces that really stand out because of their fabric content. Those are the items that tend to make an outfit really shine. And adding in a subtle touch of luxe enables you to make up an outfit out of really affordable pieces. The eye will naturally be drawn to the luxe element while the other pieces are doing the hard work in the background. One tip I would really advise is to buy less pieces in total and instead save up and buy the highest quality you can afford instead. And again, I'm not talking about going mad and spending 500 pounds on a shirt. What I'm saying is just to be a bit more savvy about what you buy and who you spend your pennies with. Gone are the days when I felt the need to buy into every single trend or have a new outfit for every occasion. These days, it's all about quality over quantity. Like these beautiful tailored trousers I bought recently from COS. And when I bought them, I reasoned to myself that they are incredibly timeless, so I was more than happy to add them to basket. Another way to wear this smarter look would be to add a blazer over the top. Now this is actually a new one that I just got in from Cezanne. I went for navy this time, as that was something I was missing from my own capsule wardrobe. And compared to my camel version of this jacket, I went for the navy in a size up, so I'd have even more options on styling it for autumn winter. But the knock-on effect of all that quality blended together makes that outfit feel chic and polished without even really having to try. I'm a big fan of less is more, and when I think about how to look effortlessly chic, it's this approach that I find really helps me to create the right look. I'll often start by thinking about the silhouette, looking for those minimal, clean lines, and a cut that's obviously been thought through well. Take this dress for example. It's a shape I loved so much that I went back and purchased it in the charcoal as well. And over the top of that gorgeous silhouette, I've added one beautiful long grey cardigan. Now this was very kindly gifted to me from an independent British brand called Willow Cashmere. Made from the finest pure cashmere, as you can imagine, it feels amazing to wear. And styled with this structured dress, it makes the complete outfit feel more relaxed while still retaining that elegant polish. So think about the pieces you have in your own wardrobe or pieces that you might have your eye on in store at the moment. What does the cut look like? Does the silhouette or fabric stand out? And most importantly, does it make you feel great when you wear it? If you're ticking yes on those points, it's likely that it's not only going to be a flattering piece, but probably really timeless in your wardrobe as well. I forgot to say, do let me know in the comment section as we go along your favorite outfit idea that I style today. Or maybe you've got some tips you'd like to share with the other subscribers. It's really nice hearing you chit chat amongst yourselves as well. As I mentioned before, I do love a tonal look. I just find it the easiest way to make an outfit feel more classy, chic, and sophisticated. And although I know it is a bit of a pain if it rains, 
I do love the odd winter white outfit idea. Both pieces I'm wearing here are from last winter actually, that are definitely coming back out to play again for another season. The jumper, quite brilliantly called the Stroop Waffle Knit, has come from Everlane, and I believe it's actually back in stock again this winter. But just generally speaking, it's a really wearable knit. For cooler days and to add a little contrast into the mix, I would style it with a camel trench coat. This is actually another new item in my wardrobe as I very stupidly ruined the Paul Smith one that I had. Long story, but needless to say, it was definitely time I invested in a new alternative. And I was conscious to choose one that was incredibly timeless like this one, so I knew I would have it in my wardrobe forever, provided I don't get any stupid ideas and put it in the washing machine, that is. Layering is a style I do a lot and will probably reach for even more as we move into winter. And particularly this season as those luxe layers are of course one of the big fashion trends. There's just something about layering with neutral items that has that wonderful knack of always making me feel effortlessly chic. The tones are soft, both aesthetically and literally, and with that combination of textures it really makes the whole outfit feel elevated and interesting. So this is a look I actually showed on my Instagram account that I'm recreating for you all today. I paired my tensile blend knit in that gorgeous shade of camel, so contrasting with both texture and tone but equally staying within that neutral palette. On my feet, something I've been reaching for an awful lot recently actually, is a pair of boots that I got either last winter or the winter before, I can't really remember, but these ones came from Cezanne. Now these are a kind of light taupe shade, and although they don't have this exact tone at the moment, they have got some really similar ones in lovely camel tones. So I will add a link in the description box below as it's definitely worth a peek at their boots. Then I've just layered my lovely camel coat from Massimo Dutti over my shoulders. I know it's not the most practical way to wear it, but it does feel the most chic. Now as you can see, none of those tones actually are a perfect match with each other. And that for me is part of the joy of this layered outfit. Just have a play in front of the mirror, adding pieces in, taking them away, and I think you'll instinctively know once you've got the balance right. Never underestimate the styling power of adding a belt. Whether you're styling neutrals or not, it can totally transform your outfit. Again, like I've said a few times through this video, I'd really advise having a play in front of the mirror, perhaps taking some selfies as you go along so you can look back at those pictures later, and just put on some of your favourite looks that you already go to, and try adding in a belt to see if it would also work. Sometimes it works, and sometimes it won't, but I'd hazard a guess you'll find a couple of new outfit ideas along the way, from pieces that you already have in your wardrobe. So as you can see in this look, I've gone for my crepe and satin back skirt that I got a couple of months ago from Cos, and I've paired that with a pair of tights underneath, which you can't actually see, but it's keeping me a little bit more toasty, and my ankle boots that have got that lovely pointed toe, which just helps to really elongate your shape. On my top half, I'm wearing another of my cashmere crewnecks that I got from Everlane, but to change up this skirt and just to give me more options of how to wear it, as you can see, I added my wide tan leather belt. And one, it just really helps define my waistband. But two, it just gives me more ways I could style this skirt. Not just with this crew neck, but with all the other tops in my wardrobe. Once I add in that belt, I've just doubled the amount of outfit ideas I've got from it. Now, if you're a big fan of print, don't worry, I haven't left you out. The trick to creating these looks is just to make sure that the print follows along that neutral train of thought. So as you can see with this outfit idea, I've paired one beautiful floral print blouse. That one is actually really ticking the floral trend box for this autumn winter, as the prints we're seeing are a little bit more vintage looking, which is actually quite helpful when you're trying to create more of a neutral look because the tones are a bit more muted. So that's what I would advise looking out for those prints that have included more subtle shades to enable you to still create a neutral outfit. This blouse is actually a little bit see-through, but I tend to wear just a neutral flesh-coloured bra underneath, and although you can slightly see the shape, I don't mind that at all, you can't really see any detail. Now I've tucked it in quite neatly to those neutral pleated trousers, and then kept the zips down up quite tightly on my ankle, because I really like having that tapered shape 
down to the hem. Jacket wise, I would maybe add a blazer or if it's warm enough and I can get away with it weather wise, maybe just a slouchy camel cardigan layered over the top. I think that would add another luxe element to it. As a bonus outfit for this effortlessly chic lookbook, I decided to style a pair of loose fitting Cooper trousers that I got recently from good old Marks and Spencer. And that fabric has got a beautiful drape to it. I love the way it moves as I walk. Another bonus for me was of course that shade that I seem totally incapable of passing by. And one of my favorite ways to style camel, one that we're particularly seeing an awful lot of this autumn, would be with stripes. But because my bottom half is pretty loose and floaty, I opted for my tighter Breton top rather than one of my more slouchy jumpers. And to complement all those tones together, I layered my new trench coat over the top. I should have actually put my camel shoes with this outfit. Tone-wise, I think that probably would have worked better, but I just love these flats, so I'm wearing them on repeat. I really hope you've gleaned some inspiration from my neutral outfit ideas. And it's given you some tips and advice how you can recreate these looks with the pieces you already have in your own wardrobe. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, that would be really lovely too. Make sure you never miss a video by tapping the bell on the notifications tab. And if you'd like to see my daily outfit ideas, you can also follow me on Instagram as well. Have a good week, everyone. And hopefully you'll join me next week for lots more fashion advice and outfit ideas. Take care.